brick facades are a classic, timeless look. However, as building codes push the envelope on requirements for insulating buildings to save energy, many builders are opting to install thin brick over a wall that includes foam insulation. In this video, we will show you the basics of this type of installation. Our video will show all sections of the wall assembly with emphasis on installation of the facade. As you can see, the wall includes steel studs, rigid foam board insulation, exterior rated sheathing, builder felt, metal lath, a fortified mortar scratch coat, liquid waterproof membrane, exterior grade mortar, thin brick, and grout. Galvanized metal lath with a diamond pattern is attached with fasteners that go all the way through to the studs. Attaching the lath only to the sheathing or foam insulation is not sufficient to keep the facade in place. A scratch coat of mortar is mixed and applied over the lath. It should completely embed the lath and make the wall flat and smooth, ready for waterproofing. Let the scratch coat cure for the amount of time recommended by the mortar manufacturer. To keep water from penetrating the substrate, a liquid waterproofing product should be applied per the technical data sheet of the product you have selected. Once the waterproofing membrane is fully cured, it's time to begin installing the thin brick. We are using an ANSI A118.15 mortar that's designed for exterior applications. Many trowels can apply enough mortar for this step, but we are showing a 3 8 square notch trowel. Embed each brick thoroughly and check the coverage of the mortar frequently by lifting a brick that has been installed. The back of the brick should be completely covered with mortar. Check for any twisted bricks or uneven grout joints and readjust as long as you're still within the working time of the mortar chosen. Corner pieces are available to make the installation look like a traditional brick wall. These bricks should be back buttered with mortar to ensure full contact. Once the bricks have been embedded, clean any mortar out of the grout joints and off the surface of the bricks before it has had a chance to fully harden. There are a variety of methods for applying grout. Wax bricks are designed to be pressure washed after installation, and a full broadcast grouting method can be used with a grout float similar to grouting tile. This method can also be used for smooth bricks or if a wax grout release product is used on the bricks. For this video, we are bagging the grout into the joints to keep it between the bricks and off the face as much as possible. Once the grout is cured to the point where it's dry to the touch, it can be tooled into the final shape. Joints can be formed using a variety of tools, including a rake tool, tile float, and concave jointer tool. Most installations use a concave jointer tool, the method we're showing, but other finishes are also popular. Once the grouting is complete, but before the grout is completely cured, clean the grout from the face of the bricks. Cured grout is very difficult to remove. If the brick was waxed, use a high pressure 
high temperature water spray to remove the wax and grout residue. With proper preparation and installation, a thin brick facade will last for the lifetime of the building. While the installation is different than with full brick, it is very similar to installing other hard surface materials such as tile and stone. For more information about Iron Rock selection of quality thin brick or to contact us, visit our website at www.ironrock.com.